Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to talk about a few things that are going to really help you not only in your UPSC preparation but also as someone who might be tomorrow an entrepreneur, as someone who might be a professional, a doctor, an engineer, someone who might be tomorrow working as ISRO or maybe some other projects, who knows, right? So our future we don't know. We might get through UPSC, we might not get through UPSC. But what we know is how we can improve ourselves, how we can positively strengthen our own character and our own discipline so that we can always go on the right path, we can always contribute towards nation building. And these are a few things I have learned over a period of time. These are things about patience, about developing discipline, about developing the ear to listen to others. And I'm not saying I'm perfect at them. In fact, there is a lot of work that even I need to do on myself. I am not always disciplined. I am not always patient about things. I am not always listening well. But I always try to keep these things in back of my mind so that I am improving a little every day. Because at the end of the day, it is all about improvement in yourself that will help you to shine. And it will not be about other things like whether you are trying to pull someone down and trying to become better or whether you are trying to show someone else that you are better at things or you are good at things. That will not help you to shine. You will shine yourself with your own effort, with your own character and personality, with your own ability to handle various situations because that is what is required to be successful in the long term. And the first thing, and this is very very applicable for UPSC aspirants, is about not competing with others. See, a lot of times what we do is we develop a perception inside our own head that there is a lot of competition outside. There are 10 lakh people, there are 15 lakh people, there are 2 lakh people sitting in different exams, RBI exam, 1 lakh people are sitting, UPSC exam, 10 lakh people are sitting, bank PO exam, 25 lakh people are sitting. In fact, this competition does not start from UPSC or any other government exams. This competition starts a lot early in life. When for the first time the child is taking admission in KG, in class first, in class second, this competition starts at that time. And that is what worries me because right from the birth of a child in India, obviously because we have so much population pressure also and we are always fighting for resources, the parents, both the parents and the child, not only the child is competing, he, is, he or she, the child is suffering anyways. But the parents are also suffering in this mad race, this, this blind race behind things. And that you can see in a lot of things. You know how you will see a lot of crowd in India. <clears throat> and that you can see in, in a lot of things. In, you can see that not only in, uh, in, in, in the sectors of studies. <clears throat> but does it really help you to... to create this pressure that has stress ever helped you i mean tell me one thing has it ever helped you that you take stress of competition you take this unnecessary burden of oh these people probably are studying more than me then how do i compete with them will this particular sentence when it appears in your head when it plays in your head is that going to help you definitely not karna to khud padega Improve to apne aap ko hi karna padega. You have to work on yourself and only then will you be able to stand somewhere. Correct. Give you an analogy. Think of Sachin Tendulkar. Think of Virat Kohli. Think of any cricketer who you know. If that cricketer, let's say, wanted to be a great batsman. Okay. And tomorrow he looked at other bowlers and he said, Oh my God, these bowlers are very fast. How will I face them? Look at this another person, he's facing them really well, how do I face them? If you had this attitude, will you be able, ever able to face those bowlers in the nets or in real pitch, in real life, on the real pitch? Absolutely not. You will be bold on the first delivery itself. But if you go in with the attitude, I'm going to go in the nets. I'm going to face the fastest bowler that is out there. And I'm going to work on my defense, I'm going to work on my offense, I'm going to work on my off drive, on drive, whatever, right? If you have that kind of thinking, that kind of bulb is lighting up in your head, that is when you are really becoming fit enough to compete and compete healthily. Because this is something that is working on yourself, that is working on your own abilities. And that is all what you have to do. To shine anywhere, to do well anywhere, you have to work on yourself. 
देर इज नो कॉम्पिटिशन अगेंस्ट एनी वन बट द रियल मेजर लाइज विद इन यू यू हैव टू रियली मेजर योर सेल्फ अगेंस्ट योर सेल्फ इन फैक्ट दिस इज अ रियली ग्रेट कोर्ट दैट आई केम अक्रॉस एंड आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर इट विद यू देर इज नो रेस देर इज ओनली ए रनर सो देर इज नो रेस देर इज ओनली ए रनर इफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट आई एम रनिंग इन ए टेन थाउजेंड मीटर्स रेस फाइव थाउजेंड मीटर्स रेट हंड्रेड मीटर स्प्रिंट इट इज नॉट अबाउट द अदर पीपल हु आर सराउंडिंग यू हु आर नेक्स्ट टू यू हु आर ऑल्सो रनिंग अगेंस्ट यू इट इज रियली अबाउट द रनर जस्ट कीप वन फुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द अदर सो देर इज नो रेस देर इज ओनली ए रनर जस्ट कीप वन फुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द अदर ऑलवेज वॉट यू हैव टू ट्राई कीप ट्राइंग टू डू इज कीप मूविंग दैट्स वॉट दिस कोट इज अबाउट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज कीप ट्राइंग कीप मूविंग कीप वन फुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द अदर बिकॉज इन द लॉन्ग टर्म इवेंचुअली दिस इज वॉट विल मैटर ऑफकोर्स इवन इन द शॉर्ट टर्म इट विल मैटर बिकॉज यू आर ट्राइंग टू इम्प्रूव योर सेल्फ सो यू विल सी रिजल्ट बट इफ यू थिंक यू आर ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंटली टेकिंग प्रेशर ऑफ अदर्स अरे यार इसके अगेंस्ट ऐसा हो जाए ये ऐसा कर ये इतना अच्छा है इस चीज़ में उसके उसके साथ मैं कैसे कॉम्पीट करूँ उस वाली मैंटेलिटी से कभी कुछ भी होता नहीं इनफैक्ट वन ऑफ द थिंग्स इज दैट देर इज नेवर ए फिनिश लाइन यू आर थिंकिंग दैट आफ्टर क्लास एट इफ आई डू इन क्लास वेल इन क्लास एट देन आई बी फाइन टेंथ में अच्छा करूँगा तो मेरी लाइफ बन जाएगी ट्वेल्थ में अच्छा करूँगा तो मेरी लाइफ बन जाएगी एंड आफ्टर दैट आई गो टू कॉलेज आई डू वेल आई विल गेट अ गुड जॉब मेरी लाइफ बन जाएगी इट डजेंट वर्क लाइक दैट देर इज नो फिनिश लाइन you have to always keep working and especially in the age of technology today whether you are going to be a civil servant tomorrow whether you going to be a private individual tomorrow who is going to work in private sector entrepreneur whatever technology is going to be a threat to your expertise or to what makes you important so you have to really work on yourself in order to be adaptive enough and this is this has to become part of your nature see today after so many years it is part of my nature to be asking questions to be trying to do different things to be trying to always contemplate and show in my action the kind of things i want to do aur us tarah ke attitude aap dheere dheere apni life ke part mein include kar sakte ho usko apni life mein ek important ek apne system ka part bana sakte ho apne nature ka part bana sakte ho aur this is doable with discipline with thinking in the right direction see one of the things that today i wanted to talk to you about was and i have written it down is also that in a society nowadays we have become very susceptible to blaming others because of social media aajkal kya hai social media pe itna zyada on a daily basis thoughts aur opinions ka bharmar rehta hai there is a stream of thoughts and to some extent i am also addicted to that i spend quite a bit of time sometimes on twitter i get addicted to it and i just keep scrolling down even i who try to tell you not to go for it sometimes find it hard to resist it so imagine someone who is not even trying how much addicted that person would be so from the social media or from the general the way our society structure today and it is very easy to pass on it It is very easy to resent someone, to be able to resent the situation that you have been presented with. And unfortunately, I don't want to, you know. Of course, there is a lot of problems in the system also. But at the end of the day, if tomorrow you want to be sitting on the other side of the table, if tomorrow you want to have a life that you envision for yourself, you want to be having a comfortable life, good life. good family life a prosperous life a healthy life for that you have you can't blame the system around you you can't blame you can't complain you can't go to the court for every small thing you have to you have to really look inwards and decide for yourself what is best for you see our world offers us a lot of opportunities and we have to try to look forward to these opportunities we have to try to look have a positive attitude and only then we will be able to find ourselves see i will for example i will give you that other day my fiance was telling me a very good example of virat kohli i heard it from her 
when Virat Kohli was apparently in school, he used to hate going to school. He did not like to sit in class. उसको दिखता था बस एक बैट और बॉल सो ही इज टू हैव ए वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर ही वॉज रियली अफ्रेड ऑफ एंड देन स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर नोटिस दैट ही वॉज ऑलवेज एबसेंट फ्रॉम क्लास प्लेइंग क्रिकेट आउट साइड सो वन शी कॉल्ड हिम एंड शी आज डेम बेटा तुम तुम्हें क्लास में आना अच्छा नहीं लगता क्या टेल मी द ट्रूथ मुझे बिल्कुल सच बताओ तुम्हें क्लास में आना अच्छा नहीं लगता क्या एंड विराट कोहली हैड द गट्स हैड दैट ऑनेस्टी विद हिम सेल्फ एंड सेल्फ मैम मुझे बैट के और बॉल के सिवा कुछ दिखता ही नहीं है लाइफ and then you know she did not really after that she did not really question him she let him be i think that's what happened if i am wrong please correct me but that honesty that focus he did not blame her maybe she did stop him from playing you know maybe she did tell his father that aapka beta to hamesha khelta hi rehta hai wo to kuch nahi karega wo to pad bhi nahi sakta kuch nahi karega wo aage kuch nahi banega wo maybe that is the words that were told to his parents by a lot of people who knows right i'm just assuming and that happens that happens in our society a lot of us are told by others how we should handle ourselves but his father supported him a lot his father was one of his biggest supporters yuvraj singh's father was one of his biggest supporters and that's where the greatness came from the greatness came from the fact that of course it was good that he got the support also but the greatness came from these people seeing कि इस बच्चे में कुछ स्पेशल है इस बच्चे में कहीं पे और पे इसका फोकस है वो करेगा क्यों नहीं कर सकता सो आई थिंक यू हैव टू बिफोर एक्सपेक्टिंग अदर्स टू सी दैट इन यू यू हैव टू सी दैट इन योर सेल्फ बिकॉज विराट कोहली डेड ही सॉ हिमसेल्फ प्लेइंग क्रिकेट फॉर इंडिया वन डे ही बिलीव इन सेल्फ एंड ही वेंट फॉर इट एंड ही डिड इट आई एम नॉट सेंग देर मस्ट बी मैनी फेलियर और फेलियर्स ऑल्सो लाइक विराट कोहली देर मस्ट बी अदर गुड प्लेयर्स हु नेवर मेड इट बट लेट्स नॉट टेक अवे from them the the real crude belief they had in themselves because that is what is required i'm sure they are also doing well in life somewhere or the other because that will carry you throughout your life that will benefit you throughout your life so this belief in yourself this having the attitude of not blaming anything outside you having the ability to use your internal strengths to use your discipline to beat everything that is what is more important competition and not blaming others is a very very important part of your life the other thing that i wanted to tell you about is a little bit about having patience developing patience see lot of times times what happens is we jump to conclusions jab prelims ka upsc paper hua tha last abhi this year lot of people jump to conclusion right away because it was a little definitely a little tougher paper than the other paper csat was a little tough but how can you blame someone else for your own inadequate preparation or you are not not being able to handle that exam in the paper uh, that exam on that day of paper you have to think about the fact that lot of other people were also appearing and they have cleared this exam maybe the cut off will go down a little bit correct but i was looking at the paper the other day and i found a lot of questions to be actually very standard questions the choices may have been a little bit harder the elimination was possible not possible but definitely the question paper was doable i looked at both the papers they were doable so don't jump to conclusions every forum everyone took an advantage of this everyone from coaching institutes to everyone to instill fear in the heads of the aspirants about upsc exam and to create this overall environment that of blame blaming upsc going to the courts okay it is your right you can go to the court absolutely go for it there is nothing wrong but instead of that if you spend that time studying properly instead of that if you spend time in focusing on your inward growth in figuring out okay maybe next year the exam will be even harder maybe it will be same maybe it will be easier how do i prepare for that exam for next year so let be have patient let the Let the overall water become still. आपने कभी देखा होगा ना इफ यू हैव ए ग्लास ऑफ वाटर इन विच यू पुट सम मड एंड यू स्टेर इट यू कैंट सी एनी थिंग इट विल बी लाइक ए कन्फ्यूजन इट विल बी यू कैंट सी थ्रू द ग्लास इट बी डर्टी बट इफ यू पुट द ग्लास ऑन द टेबल धीरे धीरे दैट स्लोली स्लोली दैट मड विल सेटल डाउन सो लेट द मड सेटल डाउन लेट द ग्रेविटी डू इट्स जॉब 
and once the mud settles down you will see the clarity you will see through and through and you will see you will have a clearer mind to be able to understand what is really going on this is a very famous buddhist saying that let the silt settle down you know the stoics used to say let the water settle down let the water become still so don't fall into this trap of people making a havoc of things especially on social media these days without any analysis without any understanding so called experts will pass on their judgments please don't get into that because if you want to be a real professional you have to have that ability to see what is right what is wrong unfortunately that happened in upsc this time quite on a big scale and i hope that it will probably repeat again next year but you as a smart aspirant don't get into that because then you will be worrying about our competition itna hai like i said this is so hard to clear this exam and then on top of that the exam is hard now the upsc doesn't want people from arts backgrounds to get in aisa kuch bhi nahi hai if you studied for you need 33% marks to clear csat 33% that's a very low bar to be honest 66 marks out of 200 even if you did your comprehension questions correctly you would pass the exam you don't have to even do maths questions even if you did some of the logical reasoning questions correctly with english the comprehension questions and those comprehension course questions also come in hindi if you had done them correctly you would pass the exam in fact i feel for vernacular students who have to study english and vernacular also हिंदी स्टूडेंट्स एटलीस्ट उनका इतना प्रिविलेज है कि आप लोग हिंदी में भी एग्जाम लिख सकते हो मतलब प्रीलिम्स का पेपर सॉल्व कर सकते हो तो वो थोड़ा सा ना सेंसिटिविटी रखो थोड़ा सा सेंसिटिविटी रखो डेफिनेटली आई एग्री देर आर टाइम्स वेन इन द हिंदी पेपर देर आर सम प्रॉब्लम्स ट्रांसलेशन का प्रॉब्लम्स होता है वो एट सम पॉइंट हैज टू बी रिजॉल्व बट डेफिनेटली इन द बिग पिक्चर ऑफ थिंग्स blaming others going to courts not letting things settle down not having the patience and passing judgments is something that is not a quality of a upsc aspirant a good upsc aspirant so today i have talked a lot about these things i have talked about competition i have talked about patience i have talked about not learning to blame others these are very important qualities that as a human being will help you as a professional will help you a lot it will make you come to peace to develop peace in your mind so i hope you are able to learn from them you are able to get something from them if not you can ignore my advice it's okay i am giving my advice i have the right to do that but it is your uh, right to accept what is wrong and what is not sometimes i also ignore a lot of advice by other people but then i take snippets i do not judge between individuals i am not blindly following some individual i just either accept a few good things from them or reject the things that i don't like so have an open mind let me know if you have any questions definitely happy to answer them and uh, be in touch write in the comments what kind of things you are facing difficulty with and hopefully i will be able to address them all right take care bye bye and see you next time